Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I'm Larry Weinstein, and I'm both a CPA and the founder of SolveMyTaxProblems.com. And in today's video, I wanted to answer the question, what is the main reason for filing a CDP hearing or for a collection due process hearing? The reason for that is simple. The reason that we typically file a Form 12153 request for a collection due process hearing is that by filing for the collection due process hearing, if we file it within 30 days of the date of the letter, then it officially uh, stalls the IRS collection efforts. Uh, if it's timely filed, the IRS cannot, repeat, cannot levy a bank account or they cannot garnish a paycheck unless and until such time as we've had our collection due process hearing. So that's a very powerful tool that taxpayers have is the main reason for doing the collection due process hearing is to stall out the, co the collection activity of the IRS. Now you're not going to stall it out completely and forever. It's going to give you a little bit of time so that you can put a solution into place. In many instances, you'll actually have your solution, be it an installment agreement, offer and compromise, currently not collectible or bankruptcy. Many times you might have that solution before the actual collection due process hearing takes place. In some instances, when you actually have your hearing, that's when you present all of your paperwork and you try to get your IRS solution in place. So that's answering pretty much why you would file for a collection due process hearing by completing a form 12153. Thanks for watching today and look forward to hearing from you soon.